Good evening. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. Christie is off tonight. The latest plan to replace I-81 is meant to fix mistakes of the past, especially in the neighborhood the viaduct cut through and towers over 15th Ward. Tonight, News Channel Line's Adrian Smith is clarifying concerns about how construction could impact those who live there. On both sides of the I-81 viaduct, families are living at Pioneer Homes, a housing development owned by the Syracuse Housing Authority. Assemblyman Bill Magnarelli, who also serves as the chair of the Transportation Committee, said publicly in an interview yesterday he believes those who live at Pioneer Homes will have to move out, at least temporarily, when construction starts. If you're going to take down that viaduct, the people in those buildings are going to have to be evacuated. I cannot imagine that they're going to be able to take down those, those structures. Uh, with people living feet away. So, I mean, I, it, I, I don't have any confirmation from anybody official. I'm just looking at it from a very rational standpoint. But the state DOT clarifying those claims, saying the current draft has no indication of moving those families out, not even temporarily. In a statement sent to News Channel 9, a DOT spokesperson says, quote, there are no plans to temporarily displace people living in Pioneer homes as part of the construction project. Well, that's news to me, that uh, the people in Pioneer homes would not be displaced and moved into uh, new accommodation. I, I am surprised at hearing that. Uh, I find that questionable, and it's something I am going to look into. Now, the state DOT says it's working directly with the Syracuse Housing Authority as well as the community to minimize any negative impact. The public comment period is open until September 14th, and we'll show you how you can weigh in on the project at localsyr.com.